is a, uh, was a Tesla robots attacking the, uh, the employee and something that they have not talked about a lot. Some of these uh, employees are getting um, violently hacked, blood everywhere by these Tesla robots that look like I, I robot, something like on the Will Smith movie. But one of them malfunctioned so badly that they, they couldn't turn it off with the button, an emergency trip or nothing. Anyway, is that what we got to look forward to? Is, is that what we have to look forward to? Because we don't want life to be so easy that it's going to be really, really made complicated. I think one of the most um, saddest things that we experienced in 2023, um, and we are continuing to experience it, is what's happening in Israel. As uh, the Palestinians, who are really basically um, the brown people over there, just like uh, you know, it amazes me that we don't. A lot of us don't see ourselves as an extension of, of them. But that's neither here nor there right now. Um, I just ask God to shine some mercy on whoever. Whoever is in charge of this ethnic cleansing, um, because their time is up and they're not gonna go down quietly. That's for damn sure. They're not gonna go away quietly. That's something that we gotta realize. They will throw the baby out with the bathwater. They will split the baby down the middle, like King Solomon said. They will do it. So, <laughs> I think we need to stay one ahead of that. So, to me, that was kind of like one of the saddest stories. And it's continuing to be one of the saddest, the saddest stories of the year. Um, what's happening in the Gaza Strip. And all the lies and the uh, propaganda around it. That's just insane. Just absolutely insane now I'm sure a lot of y'all got y'all crazy stories of the year some I probably forgot because it's been so much um, but what I think I think that this this pandemic and being stuck in the house for over a year has taught me one thing um, when the smoke cleared there is a lot of mental health issues um, and the mental uh, impact that that had on a lot of people's uh, lives are, is just incredible. A lot of people have just almost like bottomed out, like flatline almost. I mean, and their mental capacity is on full display. That's something that we need to really try to get a hold of in 2024 because um, it's not going to get easier mentally. I believe it's going to get tougher. Okay? And those who are here when the smoke cleared, they're here. They live to see another day. And I, I plan on being in that number. Um, so... You know, we got some work to do as a family. One of the commitments, and this is not like something that I've been thinking about uh, just for New Year's, is like I said, talking about a lot of race is so discrimin, it's so draining, especially when you know the truth. Um, I don't argue with people uh, no more. As a matter of fact, about a week ago, somebody got really upset with me because I said something that I really mean from the bottom of my heart, and that is I don't blame white uh, folk for being, well, pink people for being racist or prejudiced, I should say. I do not blame them. They inherited a world that they've been fed craziness for generation after generation. Just think the effect, the mental effect that has on somebody. 
that for hundreds of years you've been told that you're the cream of the human family, that you're the best. You, no matter what your flaws and infallibilities and your um, perceived greatness has been, it's always been off of colonization and, you know, doing away with the indigenous people, stealing, robbing, graping. And if you think that's advancement for the human family, that just is like, okay, so you've told your counterparts that you better, um, you told your counterparts that you're better than everybody in the human family. And that has gone on for hundreds of years. There's no way in the world you can undo that mental illness. A person that is pink that doesn't think like that had to have done extensive work. You know, people like Mary Trump or, um, uh, uh, in my opinion, uh, Robin D'Angelo, uh, uh, Tim Weiss, I mean, people that know it, that get it, that really get it, um, they had to do work. Um, they didn't expect to just be indoctrinated in the school system. They didn't start learning until they actually start seeing what they didn't know. And so is it with other pink people? They'll never see it because they have no reason to. They're just, you just know you need to get stay away from them that think like that. And some of them don't know. And once you feel, you can figure out if they care or not. And when they don't, you already know why. It, it's not up to you to try to eradicate uh, that thinking. You just need to, you, but you have to eradicate that system, okay? So that's the way I think it would benefit a lot of us that's um, black and brown to really think going into 2024. I heard that 40% of the men in Ohio, black men, are voting for Donald Trump which I think is a travesty and is so insane. And it, like I said, it just defines for me that little paragraph when Willie Lynch say, don't worry about them. They'll be perpetually miserable. We can do anything we want to. If you incorporate what I'm teaching you right now to do to these Negras, they will, they will be messed up. Because anytime you will vote for somebody that is a known white, uh, a known su uh, supremacist, whose father was a Klansman, who discriminated against black people in a building and all that stuff. I mean, <laughs> that all Mexicans are great person. You think they got something for you because they let a few Negroes out of jail that gave them two million dollars? I mean, it's insane. And so we will cut off our nose and spite our face. Not that we'll take a Republican candidate. If we was just talking about taking a Republican candidate, I wouldn't have a problem with it. But the fact that you are so ignorant that you would want to And I really do want to wish each and every one of y'all a happy new year. Those of y'all who have made resolutions, I hope you keep them. Those of y'all who have not made them, if you want to start making them, start changing some things, let it happen this year. You know, I think this year I'm going to have a conversation with uh, a young man who is, um, my half brother that I just found out about, um, 
I think I'm going to reach out and have a conversation with him. So that's something I have on my to-do list going into the new year. And this is my father's son, um, allegedly. Um, um, yeah, those are one of the, some of the things that I plan on doing. That was one of the surprise things that I found out in 2023. And so I plan on, um, like I said, delving more into it. What say you? What y'all got that you want to do? in 2024 um, what do you want to make better what do you want to keep the same um, and let it be known so with that being said y'all already know happy new year to you family I love you and I'll see you next year